Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review. Local Natives, Hummingbird. Local Natives is a Silver Lake band, and uh, this is their sophomore full-length LP, an album that I was maybe a little apprehensive to get into because of just how lukewarm I was on their debut full-length a few years ago, which did definitely, definitely feel like a debut album in the sense that you have a group of guys who have created a band that feels so steeped in its influences that it's really difficult to separate the group themselves from what music inspires them. Because no matter how many times I really gave a listen to Gorilla Manor, I couldn't really figure out what this band was about outside of the artists that they kind of channel so well through their tracks. There are moments in local natives music where you might catch a bit of the eccentricity of talking heads. A lot of moments where you hear the vocal harmonies of a group like Fleet Foxes. Sometimes the vocal harmonies and the experimental folk tendencies of a group like Grizzly Bear pop up as well. And sometimes local natives are able to effectively channel the ambitious Baroque instrumentation of Arcade Fire too. But outside of a few bloggable singles from Gorilla Manor like the song Sun Hands, nothing really about that album stuck with me through 2010 and 2011. However, for a lot of people, local natives have resonated. And that's not really that big of a surprise because the music that they're inspired by, the artists they're inspired by, have made some of the most popular indie rock, folk, and pop of the past 10 years. And when music fans typically come across an artist that they love and maybe they haven't really gotten their fill, they seek out more music that sounds like that through either the genres that that music is boxed into or just similar sounding artists. I'm not saying that Local Natives is necessarily riding the coattails of any one group, but for sure, they did not invent the sounds that they are toying with. I mean, they're more of a product of the environment that they're thriving in, musically. And I guess the twist that they put on a lot of the artists that inspire them is that the music, in terms of its appeal and its its beauty, is pretty obvious right from the get-go. Especially on this new sophomore release that has a much slicker production value, especially on tracks where you're getting a lot of atmospheric instrumentation and a little Radiohead-esque falsetto singing, too. I guess what I'm getting at is that no matter how many times I listen back to local natives, their music just does not, not, not move me. Clearly the band has a lot of musical talent, whether it comes to technical ability or writing, because they're able to copycat this close these great contemporary artists. I just, for the life of me, cannot shake this very overwhelming sense of just lack of imagination, an album that's unmemorable, an album that's just unadventurous. I don't question the band's passion for the blueprint that they're working from, but for me, just the lack of surprises on this LP is depressing. Really, for me, style and sound and production, as it impacts those other two things, are my biggest issues on this album. Like the band's last LP, there are a few catchy standouts, I suppose. The instrumentation is fine, the vocal harmonies are nice. It just all kind of wears me down as I travel through the entire LP because, I mean, there's just really nothing, I guess, sort of unique to the band on, on this LP, in, in my opinion. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this thing. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And and that's it. Thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano, Local Natives, forever.